So for our backhand serve, we're focusing at the moment mainly on doubles and we're looking for a short, back, relaxed thumb grip. We're putting the racket well out in front of our body and placing the shuttle uh, onto the strings of the racket. No real tension in our body. If we try and play with very, particularly in our shoulders where we have tension and we tighten up, it's very difficult to control that shuttle. So nice and relaxed, bring the racket back a short distance, open the face slightly, and then as we come back forward, we're pushing through the shuttle into the direction of the, the top of the tape. Important that when we're looking at it, we're trying to look at our opponents in the distance, see what's happening over there, rather than looking at the shuttle. This is just important to get an overall picture of what's happening in front of us. As soon as we've hit that shuttle, we bring our racket up, up onto tape height to try and anticipate what our uh, opponent is playing and we can intercept or at attempt to intercept that shuttle. So here we go. Let's have a look at this again. Tactically, whenever we ask, whenever I ask players what is the serve for, almost always they say it starts the rally. And while that's absolutely correct, it does a lot more than that. It's the only shot we have absolute control over. We should be set, we should be relaxed, and we should be very precise in our play. Because if we hit a really, really good quality serve, we can give ourselves an opportunity to try and intercept and cut off the returns and end the rally very, very quickly. Equally, how frustrating is it having played just a wonderful 20, 30 shot rally, smashes, defense, diving all over the place, you win the point, you walk up and you serve into the net. So the concentration that's required for hitting a serve is very, very important. The other thing is, we also, I set up Victor here as if I'm serving to the tee. I need to be equally comfortable of moving the shuttle anywhere along the short service line because I want to make it as difficult as I can on my opponents. For singles, sometimes we can change it a little bit. We can move our grip a little bit further back down, just normal grip on that side of it, step a little bit further back, but the same principles apply, except maybe perhaps a slightly sl uh, longer swing. 